Hmm. All right. Welcome back. Here we go. We're going to play through A Rise of Rasselhag. And let's see what happens. A uh, new career. There we go. Rise of Rasselhag. 3031. 700 years ago. So on and so forth. Rosselhog was conquered by the Draconis Combine and turned into what it is known today as the Rosselhog Military District. For centuries, natives among the RMD have been oppressed and ostracized by a larger Combine society. This open contempt of the region's indigenous population has bred a local independence movement known as the Tyr. The Tyr? The Tyr. They fight to liberate their people and writ. Uh, resurrect the Principality of Rasselhag. In the new year, or sorry, it is now the year 3031. The Inner Sphere is reeling from the carnage of the recent Fourth Succession War. House Davion and Steiner and this <clears throat> and Steiner race to assimilate hundreds of the worlds recently conquered in the name of the Federated Commonwealth, including the worlds the Tyr helped liberate during House Steiner's uh, Operation Galtman de Gung. Yep, whatever. After completing a garrison assignment in the Lyran Commonwealth on the world of Kellenfold, you are approached by a new client who is in desperate need of your help. Yeah, desperate need. Huh? How desperate are we talking? Because we about getting rich. That's why we play this game. Oh my gosh, look at this stack of mechs. We got a victor, cataphract, Quick draw, Wolfhound, Thunderbolt, one of my favorites, Crab 27, my absolute favorite. Well, one of my favorites. And the Archer, Standard Archer, Grasshopper, Zeus, and the Awesome, one of my favorites. Okay, well, we get 4 million, we start with a bunch of mechs. Uh, let's see what happens here. You're about to start a new career. Career mode is a sandbox, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start a new career. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. All right, I think we've seen that, but nothing changes there. Cool. Pause for their skills by using the weapons of combat. Well, surprise. Welcome to career mode. Yep. Got it. Good luck, Commander. Uh, let's go with the serpent's flag. Why not? Why not? Serpent's fang. Are there any new icons? Or all just the same ones as before? Okay. So nothing new. That's cool. We'll just we'll go ahead and be the serpent's fang, because why not? Priority transmission. Five months to accept. Commander. My name is Colonel Christian Monstazir. Uh, Manstalter, CO of the LCAF's 1st Tier Assault Regiment. We are the Special Operations Battle Mech Command, sponsored by Archon Steiner, primarily staffed with former Tier Resistance expatriates from the Rosselhog Military District and those Rosselhog, uh, and those of Rosselhog descent living in the Lyran Commonwealth. Since our formation, we have served this distinction. Uh, we're proud during the Fourth Succession War. We killed lots of people. We did all this cool stuff. And this word I can't pronounce, Lyran Offensive against the Dragonus Combine. Commander, I'm contacting you because I need your help. And right now, this would be a great opportunity for us to have some voice acting. But no, we just want to write things and charge you $15. You crackers. I'm counting on your reliable reputation to help me with a task that must be done. I can't say as I uh, can't say much in this transmission beyond what I am in need of your service. If you're willing to work with me and see my mission through, do whatever it takes, endeavor worth your while. Mm, yeah, I've heard that one before. How many C bills though? Let's talk. Let's talk real business here, buddy. That is all I can say of this matter at the moment. I pray it is enough for you to come to our aid. Please contact me soon with your answer. I will give five months. Uh, but. So we got five months, baby. We're going to go make some money. OK. 
Okay. Cool. Yep, cantinas. Got it. Help people. So we can do some beat downs. Got it. Okay, so we're already like. We start out with reputation five. Okay, that's good. I see what's going on here. So, uh, we got four million. Buy myself a claymore. D done. Right, the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to buy that weapon, buy that sword, start chopping people. And then I'm going to mech for it. <sighs> right into it, boys. What do we got here? Tier four LRM? Mm, I don't need that. All right, look at all this. Okay, cool. Got it. Got a full roster. Oh, look at this. Active hanger and available mechs. That's pretty cool. So now we got we got a stack that we can take with us and then like a stack that we can keep all kitted out. I like that actually a lot. That helps. Gives us an extra row. Yep. Rival Merc Overview. Here we go. Here's something new. Commander, our reputation is at a level where rival mercenary companies will now take notice of our operations within their assigned territory. Rival mercenaries will patrol territories that they are uh, acted in. These territories and allegiances will shift as the mercenaries take up new contracts of employment. Okay, cool. The capabilities of each rival mercenary company is displayed on the star map when selecting systems within their territory. Okay. When deployed, rival mercenaries will use mechs and pilots based on the patrol patrolling unit's attributes, regardless of mission difficulty. Okay. Well, much like the rules of a board game, I really don't get it until we just play, so let's just see what happens. Interesting. Okay, so where are we? We are... Oh, we're up here. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're in Clanfold. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. If we go here, we're already at, like, Reputation 6, Reputation 12, Reputation 7. Okay, so this is all... Harlock's Warriors. Reputation 6. Maybe we should travel over here to some 5. Maybe we should start out small and do 5, right? Or maybe we should just go straight into it and start killing people. Go all out. Okay, nothing's different here. Clark, Dempsey, Lily, Fish. Pilot Roth. Oh, these are our people. Got it. Sawai Taguo. Lena. Connor Murphy. Good old Connor. Thomas Ha, Gunnar Thompson. Okay, so we got we got a decent little roster here. Uh, Thirty, thirty-two. These guys are all in their, you know, up to forty between thirty-nine and forty. So we'll just keep this. All right. So let's go get into a fight. Why not? Let's just get straight into it. Let's do this defense mission. Come on, you apes! You want to live forever? Oh man, I've been playing modded. I don't even what it looks like when the jump ship comes in orbit anymore. But here we are. Mission contracts. Yep, I know how that works. Got it. Thank you. Oh, maybe that was something new. Oh well, I didn't read it. Too long, did not read. All right. Let's start with... Hmm. Mm, we don't want to do a three-time operation just yet. Right off the bat, we're going to make sure we can actually pull this off first. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is optimize my mechs at all. I'm an idiot. I'm going to have to go and go. All right. Wait, what do we got here? Sorry, what was... We have 230 tons. All right, well, we can probably... 
drop that victor down play my boy thunderbolt one of my favorites Yeah, yeah. 230. There we go. All right, Connor, don't let me down. I'm giving you the light mech. Don't get blown up. Everything else here is pretty standard. Ah, I could probably tune some of these up a little differently. It's a little late for that now. So we're just going to go ahead and deal with it. Unless... That won't be much fun to play. You know, I think I actually will go with this guy. We'll drop him down. Wait, what's the... No, Cataphract is probably the way to go. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and tune up our... That's what we wanted. Medium laser, PPC, flamer. What? It's a weird variant. Okay. That's in the right place. That all looks good. What we're going to do, though, is move these over here. And we're just going to go ahead and add the flamer to our... Uh, okay, fine. We'll leave it how it was. Seems fine. All right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully we don't get totally wrecked and embarrass ourselves. Let's rock and roll. You can't see into there, but they... they swall. Our employer's facilities are being threatened by hostile forces in the area. On-site defenders are in dire need of reinforcements. Make contact with friendly forces and prepare for incoming hostiles. One flamer. Cool. All right. So we're going to play through a couple missions, make a little bit of money before we go follow the main quest. Quest line. We'll see how that goes. You've reached the target, Commander. Confirm. Friendless on approach. Good to have you saddled up and on our side, Commander. My people are tired and scared of what's coming for us. Tired Let's scared, do huh? our best to keep them away from the complex and put an end to these attacks. It would be much appreciated by all. Protect the garrison. Nothing on scopes yeah, at the moment. It's a small but base. Don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported small in the area. Small bases can sometimes be harder to defend. Oh, my advanced zoom. As far as I can zoom in. We got tanks out there. What does that little indicator mean? Oh, it's I see. Maybe it's pointing the direction of what my lance mate is seeing. Looks like you've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Boom! Dead. Yeah. All right. So I remember how to do some of this stuff. Form on me, attack target, go to location, toggle up this free. Add one more to my kill count. Oops. New target, dragon. That target is ours. Target, target shared, engaging. Tango eliminated. Alright, let's We're go kill this dragon. Trash method it is. Oh, Crusader, baby. New mech, here we go. Be on the lookout for them. Enemies headed our way. It's showtime. Fifteen 
has two SRM6s. There, Raven, huh? That's a smart fire. place to be. Go weapons hot, weapons free on them. Friend. He's angry, are you gonna cry? Ah, let's go take a quick bath, cool off, so I can go all in on this floor. My scope is lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay across me. Come back and scrap. Yeah, sure is. Alright, I'm a little beat up, but it's all nicely spread out there. Cry. What kind of hoot nanny? Tarnation. Friggin' Space Hicks. Target acquired. Coordinated attack target received. Yep, that's what we're talking about. This is going this way. Jeez, I didn't even like people see it. Closest. Got four medium lasers. No, nope. we lost an arm. Doing 
You think you can hide? Yeah, what do you think this is? What is that alert? Beep, beep, beep. It's me. I don't know what that is. Get over here, dude. What are you hiding? See if we can salvage at least part of that crusader. Oh wait, this isn't. Yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of <laughs> playing with mods where I can pick parts of Max instead of all or nothing. Reputation six. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, crusader. Hey, we can, we can, we did it. I'll take it pretty cool. Straight up, first battle we get ourselves a Crusader. I like it. Of course I did more damage than everybody else, just like we thought I would. Guy lost an arm. Santiago, you're a big letdown. And we get to play some of these other campaigns, because we increase our reputation for some of these other missions. From Heroes of the Inner Sphere. And now... Oh, that's, that's uh, one of those right there. That's actually kind of convenient. We're going to fly back here, though. I didn't think to optimize my mechs like I should have before we got into battle. Because I was just so excited. I wanted to kill somebody. And we did. And we were successful. Even though I should have gotten rid of some of the jump jets on the quick draw and armored it up a little better. And that's why I got his arm shot off. But you know what? All in all, I think we're going to end up ahead on that. Oof, 100k, whatever. Oh, actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's switch the loadout a little bit. Because, like, really don't need an extra flamer. Lots of single heat sinks. Hmm. It's good, though. It's got a lot of cooling. Some of that rear armor we don't need. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. Solid. That looks pretty good. Um, I don't love the flamer. Kind of just feel like. That should be a medium laser. But we don't really have a choice, I guess. We can make it a tier 3 flamer at least. Good enough. Oh. Wait. What? Oh, that's right. It's a small slot. So we can only put a small laser there. Or medium lasers. Hmm. Maybe we should make that just a small laser then, but alrighty. A little too late for all that. Cool. Done. Good. Make it so. Load out. Yep. Pretty standard. I feel like we'd actually be better off with a large laser and some more armor. I think so. I mean, PPCs are cool and everything, but... Forty rounds, that's not enough. There we go. Here we go, drop it down, oops. Wow, 25 rear armor, come on, what are you doing? 
You trying to run? You trying to run and be a pussy? Nice. Uh, nope. I think that looks good. I think that looks real good. Now, for our friend here. I gotta repair all. Now, usually what I do with uh, Quick Draw is I get rid of all the jump jets but one, because you basically aren't going to use them. Uh, you use them to, like, not fall, right? But it's not like an evasion, a useful evasion method. Like, oh, I'll have a... I'll have some jump jets so I can fly. It's never fast enough, okay? It's kind of pointless. So, we add another SRM. Add some more SRM ammo. And then what we can do is max the armor out. Add a couple of up the friggin heat sinks yeah baby we don't need that head armor we don't need all that leg armor we could probably go down to 45 and be fine maybe we add some more to the oh there we go 46 good 31 rear armor come on come on now what are we doing Another thing to do with a quick draw is you can swap out all those medium lasers for nice uh, flamers. Even though it's stupid, uh, you can just burn people alive and then you're just a close range brawler with all the SRMs and the extra fire. It's a fun way to do it, sometimes, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, that's a lot, that's a good, num a good amount of cooling for what we have. Yeah, maybe with the lasers we switch them to flamers. Make this guy our flame, flame bot. Flame on! There's one tier one, so we could have four on here. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out later. I think this is fine for now. Let me go ahead and medium, medium, medium. Make that these. Make those nice. All right. And our wolfhound. Not a lot you can do with this, but he's nice and quick, so that's good. Large laser, and then that's not really do much for us. What if? Oh, that's a lot too. Yeah, we'll probably just leave him as is. All right, we got this Crusader. Let's check it out. We got two LRMs, two SRMs, and two machine guns, two medium lasers. It's kind of a weird mix of things. Oh, there's not another LRM-15. Come on. What do we got in the old... There we go. We could buy one for 400k. Jeez. Whoa. That's kind of a lot, but whatever. Oh, but then we have one stream and one standard. It's gonna, we're gonna look, We're going to look silly if we do that. my only option. Well, I guess we'll just get laughed at on the battlefield. As we're killing everybody, let's see. 18 damage versus... Oh, I don't remember what this is. Ooh, I'm going to drop another 400. Get out of here. Medium laser, medium laser, SRM-6, SRM-6. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Tier 4 machine gun. Sign me up. Whoa. Yeah, I like tier. That'll work. Machine gun, SRM, SRM. Oh, does this not have any cooling at all? Hmm. 
that's not ideal. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Right. Uh, okay. You know what? I think I'd actually rather have those BLRM 10s. You know what I mean? Because 12 to 18 is not a huge difference. And yeah, of course, we could also put two more SRM 6s in there, add a ton of heat sinks, and turn this into a super brawler. But we'll kind of make this like an all round. Oh, that's all my money. <laughs> when am I gonna doesn't matter I'm doing it I ain't scared alright let's see anything else we should optimize Victor yes first thing you do is take out these stupid jump jets you can stomp on people without them come on Again, you only need one to get the job done, because it automatically puts you at 35. Okay, we're going to max out our armor, get rid of some of this head armor, bring this down to like 45. Mm. There we go get shot in the leg. There we go. Don't get shot in the head. All right. Actually, we want to max out that arm because that arm is like just always going to get shot off. Okay, good. There we, we've added, given ourselves half a ton to work with. And what we are going to add to this is another half ton of SRM ammo. Yes, that worked for now. Cool. Oh no, we're gonna be broke. Everything's over. What have we done? This grasshopper. Okay. We're going to add some more heat sinks. And hey, why not? You know, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add one of those. Uh, oh, I forgot they're at a full ton. Never mind. We'll, we'll do half half LRM ammo. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we've got a little more armor now. Just about spent through all of our money, so let's go. We'll go win. Let's go win another freaking mission. We'll go up here, do this, make some money back, so we don't go broke and lose the game. Ooh, yes. All right. We got a crusader ready for action. I guess we'll uh, save that for the next time. It's kind of a long entry, but we got a, a first good start to this, and. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, I don't know if there's too much different. At least I haven't gotten to the whole fight other mercenaries yet, but that's probably the thing I'm most excited about. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, see you next time.